Plasma display is a matrix of gas-filled cells put between two parallel glass surfaces. The gases medium is usually neon or xenon. Gas discharge occurs between the transparent electrode on the front side of the screen and the address electrode on its back side. Gas discharge causes ultraviolet radiation, which in turn initiates the visible luminescence of luminophore. In color plasma displays, each pixel of the screen consists of three identical microscopic enclosures, which contain the inert gas, xenon, and have two electrodes, the front and the rear one. After high-frequency voltage is applied to the electrodes, high-frequency capacitance discharge occurs. In the inter-electrode space, plasma is generated. It emits ultraviolet light that falls on the luminophores force in the bottom of each enclosure. The luminophores force emits one of the primary colors, red, green or blue. Then the colored light passes through glass and goes to viewer's eyes. Thus, in plasma technology, pixels work like luminous tubes, but they can hardly be used to make panels. The first difficulty is the size of a pixel. A sub-pixel of a plasma display panel has the volume of 200 microns by 200 microns by 100 microns, and it is necessary to put a few million pixels one by one to make a panel. Secondly, the front electrode should be as transparent as possible. For this purpose, indium and tin oxides are used, as it conducts current and is transparent. Unfortunately, plasma displays can be so large and the oxide layer may be so thin that during the flow of high current, a voltage drop across the resistance of the conductors will occur, which will greatly reduce and distort signals. Therefore, it is necessary to add chromium intermediate connecting wires. It is a better conductor, but unfortunately, it is not transparent. Finally, we need to find the right luminophores. They depend on the desired color. These three luminophores give the light with a wavelength between 510 and 525 nanometers for green, 610 nanometers for green for red, and 450 nanometers for blue. The last problem is pixel addressing, since, as we have already seen, it is necessary to change the color intensity independently for each of the three subpixels in order to get the desired shade. The 1280 by 768 pixel plasma display panel has about 3 million subpixels and subsequently about 6 million electrodes. As you all understand, it is impossible to make 6 million tracks to control subpixels individually, so the tracks should be multiplexed. The front tracks usually align into solid lines and the rear one into columns. Electronics built in in the plasma panel with the help of a matrix of track selects a pixel to be lit up on the panel. It is completed very fast so you can't notice anything, just like beam scanning in CRT monitors.